All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Today is Wednesday. That means that we are playing them condoms, them magic, magnet, magnet, mag, oh my god, hello, I cannot speak. Them magnet warriors. So, uh, can we bust out the condom? That is the question. And it looks like, yes, yes, first turn I can, actually. So, that's pretty powerful. I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually normal summon him and search it. Reveal my deck, but I mean, I'm getting a search. I'm getting a plus. It's like, it's like, yeah, I cannot summon my shadows and get a search, but then, you know, so. Yeah, buddy. Go ahead and give me that search, boys. So you look at the title, you're really confused. Really, really confused, I know you are. You're like, um, Daniel, did you forget, you know, what day, what month it is? Like, it is definitely not November 2nd, 2016. All right, I got some explaining to do. This is Daily Duels. This is episode 920, correct? I do five Daily Duels a week, which means that multiple, you know, we go by fives, which means that on November the 2nd, November 2nd, 2016, that is a Wednesday, that will be, I already counted it all the way up, that will be episode 1000 of Daily Duels, and that is a big, big thing for me, of course, I mean, you guys, some of you guys have been here for a long, 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 long time, but to get all the way up to 1000 on Daily Duels, I mean, that's just really what I've been shooting for, for a long time, and of course, it's gonna take a while to get to 1000, so yes, that is the day that we will be reaching Daily Duels 1000. And uh, the reason I want to bring that up is because I don't know. I kind of I feel I still feel like I'm in a rut. I feel still like my channel's kind of stale. I'm not really. I'm still not feeling my channel. But I, I, I kind of feel like season two of League was going to be that spark again. You know that uh yes you know season two of League. But season two is on hold until you know we can get this issue resolved. Uh, Daily duels is still daily duels. You know, DM the commentary is dead. Like, I guess it'll just be dual commentary. I was thinking about just taking the tr the, the series off as a, as a whole, but then I was like, it's more work than than just keeping it on, just making it dual commentary instead of DM dual commentary. Yeah, I kind of I prefer commentary on DM. The duels are slower. You know, it's more methodical. You can actually catch some misplays and commentate about that. While when it comes to you know, Death Pro, Wide Pro commentary, the duels are fast, they happen really quick, so there would be multiple duels, it's not like, you know, we're really gonna sit there and watch one single match and one dual commentary on Death Pro, Wide it might be multiple matches, so it's kinda, yeah. but it, like I said, it's just more hassle than it's work to try to change the channel a lot. So I busted out my condom, you know, we, we, we have maximum consistency, like, I am literally running triple poly, triple king of the swamp, and triple huge and safe, like, I, would I recommend someone do that? Hell no, but I mean, it's literally like a highly easy to summon Quasar. Like 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense, and I can negate, you know, pretty much anything. Like, that, tell me that's not fucking power. Tell me that's not fucking... Oh, and if you destroy my card effect, I get to summon both of them from my fucking deck. Both, uh, was it Parisian and Valkyrion? Like, wow. It, gets, it just get wrecked, you know? So, not only that, but I got Gorgata Guardian as well, like... And this is a structure deck, like, you can believe that? Like, wow, once again, Konami with them top tier fucking structure decks. Like, you already know. I think that might be game. Like, I think that might be game. I could just go ahead and negate that and then just attack. That's it. That's it. I won. Yeah, the, guy, the funny thing is this guy said only noobs quit, right? He's not going to quit. And he's like, no, no quit. I thought he was going to play something competitive. But nah, he's just playing some weird Red Eyes deck. Like, Red Eyes with G-Prison, Metamorphosis and shit like that. Like, in the gate like that's it you lose good day sir i busted out that condom i busted out that structure that like yugi structure that you got rats like mm. <laughs> all right we'll get another duel bear back so you know abc's that's a structure deck this is a structure deck like damn can i be back at it again with the top gear structure deck sounds kind of slow i can summon him and then he can search for alpha alpha can search for Barizion. okay never mind you're gonna take it slow too uh, I got the King of Swamp, so I got the Poly, so that's good. Just a little slow to busting out my condom. Like, I can't do it first turn, I can't do it this turn, but next turn, that's fine. That's fine. I still get my search. Like, really, that's all that matters. Like, you went neg. No, no, we even out. We even out. I was gonna go plus, but we even out. You killed my monster one for one. We even out. We're good. You know? I guess I'll go ahead and activate this, the Dexen. As long as he doesn't, like, mind crush my fucking Poly, I should be fine. Like, go ahead. Like I said, I still just love my series. Like, Veiler? Veiler would've hurt way more than Ghost Tucker. Like, Ghost Tucker? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I might go ahead and just actually take the neg on this one. 
I think I think I might go ahead and take the neck on this one because busting out my condom un uninterrupted, I think it's fucking power. So I would like to keep you, but no. Just go ahead and twin twist that for me. Oh no, it's side frames. I knew it. I knew it. Mega Capital G. Fuckboy Mega Capital G was gonna fucking have people jumping on this deck's deck when it's not even that great. Like, ugh, god damn it. It's not. It's not. And Mega Capital G's like, oh my god, it's gonna be some top tier shit. Wow, another one? Like, that's fine. I still resolve my search, and really, that's all that matters. Like, no, it's not. I, I have two words for the reason why this deck will never be fucking top tier. My drain. <laughs> like, you just flip a mind drain and it just lose. Like, I don't like this deck. No one likes this deck. I'm gonna get another duel. We are... No, no. I've never been a fan of Cyphrams. Like, there was actually someone asking me why uh, Cyphrams weren't in season two. A, no one wanted to play it. No one wanted to play against it. And it was boring as shit. Like, <laughs> like that and that there. Does that answer your question? I wonder if my opponent over here is playing uh, Mermel Atlantean. Like. <laughs> Are you, are you playing Mermel Man and Atlantean Boy? Unite? Tens, okay. Like I said, it has the high consistency of busting out my condom, but I didn't get it first turn. Andy made me go first, so. Are you playing Mermel Atlantean? You might be able to OTK me if you are. But anyway, back to the whole Daily Duel 1000. If, I, straight up, if League. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Some different variant, but yeah. A card is fine, you know. I have nothing against it. I think someone asked me about what do I think about Mori Agree. It's a fine card. You shuffle two, you draw three, you even out, and you get to kind of reset your hand. It's a great card. It really is. You know, usually you kind of go neg on the cards like that, but no, you even out, so. Uh-huh. So, are you going to make these two into something, or are you just going to attack? If you turn these into a Vis Gaios, you could easily fuck up my day. Because I really need this summon to get the search to get my last piece of my condom. So, Abyss Giles can easily fuck me up. It's not really worth it to go into, like, Big Eye or anything like that, right? Never mind. Never mind. He's just going to go ahead and quit. Like, River Act. So, if Daily... Uh, I, I feel like I want to change my channel. I... I like, I was talking to other content creators, and they're like, I just spam my viewers too much, and the reason for that is because I like the structure, I like the consistency, and the daily entertainment of my channel, but I, I can I can see how I spam my viewers too much. I can definitely see that. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, not a pendulum-based deck. Of course, fucking pendulum call. Fucking pendulum call. Should that card be hit? Yes. Will it be hit? Probably not. <laughs> Until, you know, we hit, like, Draco, uh, until we hit, like, Sorcerer Draco Pals, and then you're just like, alright, well, we still got Pendulum Call, because that card is totally not fucking, like, stupid. Straight up get my Pendulum Scales, and I can't crack them. Like, it's a one card that uses this card, get your Pendulum Scales, and I can't crack your Scales? Like, fuck you, go ahead and Special Summon Keating, and Apex fucking Avion, and shit like that, and I'll just go ahead and scoop it up. And Sorcerer, wow, and Draco Pals, too? Awesome. Awesome. I guess, pop those two, these two, I guess. Yeah, if I could bust out two of these guys, I don't think I can. Yeah, go ahead and grab that back. So crack both of them, go hella plus. Like, you need to get limited. Fucking, you need to get limited. Like, you can't destroy your pension scales. Yeah. Like, did you forget about that? The sad thing is, is that... Look, look, like he's gonna go ahead and get Skull Crabat Joker. The sad thing is, is that unless I get like Solemn Strike or something. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can Twin Twister him during the draw phase. Like, what does he have? He got Yankee Magician back, that's three. He has Skull Crabat Joker. If I crack his Pendulum Scales, like, during his draw phase. I'm trying to think if I crack his scales during his draw phase. I might be able to stop him, because I, I can bust out my condom right now. If I bust out my condom. And negate his Skull Crabat Joker, I think I might be okay. And if and only if he doesn't draw into the other scale to go with what's his face, then then just fuck me, you know. That's if and only if he doesn't draw that other scale. But we'll go ahead and summon Prisma. Of course, Prisma. Go ahead and reveal. So if season two hasn't started and we reach to the Duel One Thousand, I'll probably end up like taking a lot of the content off my channel, like. I'm not sure at the current moment. I probably 
dual commentary will go. Uh, I said, I, th I think card review and fake card fighter are probably fine. I'm not sure. I just feel like, you know, like for all the, the, the effort I put into my channel, it's just not worth it. You know, it's just not worth it. Like I'm almost, I think I'm like 18 videos away from having 4,000 videos on my channel, people. 4,000. I've done this for about four years. It's, a, it's an average of 1,000 videos per year. Like, that seems like a lot. It really does. It seems like a lot of fucking content. So, we'll go ahead and kill you. Set the Twin Twister. I'm gonna hold that during your draw phase. I'm gonna Twin Twister. Crack your pendant skill. You're gonna summon Call Kura Joker. I'm gonna negate that. And then, if and only if you have nothing else, I might be able to do something. Yeah. Kinda wish I would also do into a Solemn Strike. That's fine too. All right, you have four cards in hand. I think you can easily set up your pendant skills if you have the right cards. But right, I'm gonna negate that skull crap, that joker. Like, he, he's getting negated. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, no, 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 no. No to you. Next. And watch him be like, set my pendulum scales. And I'll be like, see? This other fucking pendulum mechanic is fucking stupid. Yep. Yep. See? 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 I surrender. That's it. Sorry. I cracked your scales. I stopped you. But all right. All right. You can just set your fucking pendulum scale back up. And then pendulum summon again. Like, Oh, I hate the pendulum mechanic. It's so fucking broken. So broken. Like, what the fuck were they thinking? All the monsters go back to activate. You just set up your skill and mass summon my ass again. Like, I tried. I tried. Like, you can't say that I didn't try. But, nope. He had his pendulum scales. Like, you say, it's not like you can't set your pendulum scales up once per turn or something. Like, no, nope, there's no restrictions. Just go ahead. Go to town. Get another duel. Yeah. Ugh. Alright. Get another duel. So, yeah, you know, like I said, season two, I think season two would spark a new flame into my channel to keep me going for, you know, a while, at least half a year since, you know, League, that's how long it is. But outside of that, I'm just not sure, you know, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we got a long time. I mean, November 2nd, that is a long fucking time. But still, I mean, we're at, we're at 920 already, so we, 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 it's not that long. You know, it's, it's less than a, it's less than a year. It's less, it's, it's like a couple of months after that, you know, July, August, September, October, early November, like four months, four months, you know, less than four months. Like, come on. Ah, oh, this gets off. I'm going to go ahead and bust out my condom because I got it. <laughs> I said, look at the high consistency of it. Just tri like, we're probably going to be doing deck profile, um, you know, uh, bandless prediction and, uh, and uh, polls will go up tomorrow, Thursday, so that's good. And uh, if this deck doesn't get another month, then next next Wednesday we're gonna go ahead and give it the deck profile. But I mean, it's okay. Like it's just it's literally just like try to make condom. Like that's literally what it is. I kind of want to negate that. I kind of want to negate that. I'm gonna get that. Nothing good comes from Galaxy Soldier. And now I know that you're playing Galaxy Photon, so alright. Damn, and he had the Grand Mole? That's fine. I could, I could, I could just take that, but I think I'll just go ahead and strike you. Like, like, no. Go away, Grand Mole. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, go away. And even if you did bounce me, I'm removed from the field, which means I get my two, and I get this poly and come into him right again next turn, so. Yep, yep. Alright, another duel. Bear back. Alright. I don't know. I don't know. You guys told me. I mean, am I spamming you guys too much? I kind of feel like I am. I personally, I do. Wow, this is a lot of fucking, uh, poly. <laughs> like, this is all of the poly, really. Yeah, play this, that's another poly. It's all three poly. So. The King of the Swamp sucks that King of the Swamp can't be the name in my hand. So, like, we're seeing some light short champions. Mills weren't the greatest. Oh, well, it's just Minerva. Just Minerva that deck. $2,000 fucking uh, prize card. Fucking anybody could play it on here. Like, you know. <laughs> that's one of the great things about, you know, DM, why you're prone all these. Play these play these things. You can play whatever you like, including fucking a two thousand dollar car. Fuck that. If you're paying two thousand dollars for a fucking Minerva, fuck that, nigga. Like, go fucking buy a car. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm another wolf. Another one. 
like. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Fucking scaleless trash, people. Scaleless fucking trash. Why don't you turn these two into another Minerva? Why not? More mill. More fucking shit. Oh, you totally can see your fucking Minerva once per turn. Oh, Utopia. Utopia Lightning? Because why not? Or just, or just Utopia because you want to protect your Minerva for Minerva shenanigans. That was kind of stupid. No, just Utopia. Not the greatest hand. Especially with Minerva. Like, she's just so fucking good. Like... Call the Haunted, because why not? Like, I guess. Go ahead and foolish you. <laughs> but, uh, Fusion Sage. Take it slow, I don't need to summon you with you. I'm only running two of him, too, because he's not the greatest. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and normal summon you. Like, this is gonna be kinda slow. Yeah, go ahead and get you. And then, now I, I can just summon you, go into, uh... Into Gorgon right now. Go into Gorgon, then I can just... Drop Utopia the Lightning and then pop his ass. Too bad I can't run over any of these two. I would love to get rid of fucking Minerva, but of course then he'll just mill and then probably end up killing me next turn, so. I could just negate her though. I could just negate her. Yeah, I'll just be like, negate Minerva. No more, no more milling shenanigans. Let's go ahead and pop that for me. That's power. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. Maybe if I would've had a condom, I would've had a better fight, but ah, this is, a, this is probably like the first duel that we didn't fucking bust out the condom. So he'll probably do right in Minerva, drop multiple JD. I think he milled one JD, I wanna say? He milled one JD? Yes, one JD. What's stopping him from having the other two? And fucking, you can clearly see he is playing Monster Reincarnation. Yeah, buddy. So I'm probably dead this turn. Yeah, so like, you're pretty much out of all your great mills. Like, like, nah. She's a problem. I don't want you to draw. <laughs> and I don't want you to mill. Really, I don't want you to do anything. Like, you can just go, shh, shh, be quiet. <laughs> you got different names. You got Wolf. You got... Wolf, like, no. Alright, at least I'm not getting JD this turn. What the fuck? I'm, uh, no one plays this light sword. Like, alright. Alright. Wow, and you got ready for Minerva, who would love to go ahead and get that effect for the mill and shit like that. Like, wow. Never mind. Skill, like, this This is literally getting to be skillless trash, because your deck's... Uh, like, what are you doing? Like, no one plays this. Like, I'm just saying, just mill. Like, get lucky, mill. No whoops, 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 whoops. Going to multiple exceeds and shit. Like, yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> Ow, I, uh, I, have, I have nothing to say about that. Oh no. Alright, that is fine. Uh, I'll be able to bust out my condom next turn. Just once again, I'm gonna probably have a tough time. I can crash. I can crash. Like, I can summon you, summon you, you summon you back. XE into Gargon, detach, pop, pop you, crash with you, and then attack for 16. I think that's a fine, I think that's a fine play. Up in the next turn, as long as he has nothing to stop me, I can go ahead and fucking bust out my condom, and I'll be having my Gorgon on the field. I don't know. Like I said, you guys tell me. I just feel like my content's kind of dry. I'm I'm not bored of my of my content, but you guys might be. Just as I do like the kind of the same things every week. It's quite different. They're still kind of the same things every week. I right, go into Gorgon again. Activate Gargon, detach, drop you down to zero. Like, you don't have any special effect. I don't remember, like, this card was one of the first lightstone cards. No one runs this bitch. Like, I, I will gladly go ahead and crash with you so you won't remain on the field. Then I'll poke you for 16. How many light swings is that? One, two, three. Yeah, that's four. That's, that, that's it. <laughs> Definitely four. 
would not be surprised if he just goes summon JD, you know, left the field, summon JD. <laughs> Ooh, Lumina. Go ahead and pay costs. No. <laughs> and even if you have that JD in your hand, I'm still not dead, at least. You got JD in your hand? Yes, you do. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Skill is trash. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I'm not dead, so it's really all that matters. Like, wow. <laughs> Damn, skill is trash. Back at it again with the skill. <laughs> All right, so summon Prisma. Prisma, go ahead and reel you. Go ahead and drop you. And fusion summon. He's got the breakthrough skill, so he can negate me. So that's pretty nice. That was a pretty nice note, JD. Damn. <laughs> Called that shit like a son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, run over here, JD. You don't need it. I'll just pull out a fucking... A fucking, uh... That's two JD, so... He could fuck me up. Like, he could. He could game me. If he, if he top decks a JD. Because I believe he has one more in his deck. It's one more. If he top decks a JD, he can go break through skill on this, negate me. Summon JD. JD, wipe the field. I'll this will go. Summon those two. JD, wipe the field again. And then... Attack for game. So if he draws a JD and he has breakthrough skill, I'm dead. Like, <laughs> like let's see, let's see if he gets it. Let's see if he gets it. He's like, Shh, JD. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> this it's such a luck based deck. You just mill, you draw, you get JD, and you just fucking squall in your opponent's fucking face. It looks like he might have got JD. Go ahead and negate me. Special summon, Lila. Nah, that's fine. Like I said, you probably should have saved this for JD. So, that looks like it might be game. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, get her. So, I guess it's not. Go ahead and summon you. Now, now it's not. Because now I can... Now, not only did you banish your fucking breakthrough skill that you needed to fucking survive me. So, I guess you can go to attack. They'll attack, 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 so at least get some damage in. The less life points you have, the better. Attack, attack, poke you for 17, and then guess what I'm gonna go into? And if you can't guess, do you guess Gorgon? Because that's all you fucking go into with this fucking shit? Hell yeah! Chicka chicka yeah! Because Gorgon is the fucking shit, so now you're fucked. Like, whatever you draw, you're gonna lose. Like, even if it's JD. Yeah, because I got Gorgon and Magnum, like that's it. That's it. You lose. Good day, sir. You lose. Good day, sir. No. Then go ahead and detach. Drop you down to zero, and you are dead. Ah! Skill is trash. Couldn't beat this ass. <laughs> All right. We're getting out of there. Back. He opened up really well too. Like he was able to bust out. He was equivalent of two Manivas and Silgo Plus in the hand. Like, very, very impressive. Ugh. Never mind. <laughs> wow, it literally went, in this hand, this, it literally went from ugh to never mind. But, ugh, it's Dark World, so never mind. It's still, ugh. <laughs> yep. Go ahead and grab your filter spell. Ugh, Dark World. <laughs> Let me draw Twin Twisters. <laughs> if you draw Twin Twisters, I'll definitely bust out my condom, boys. <laughs> Wait, do you actually have no Dark Worlds? Or you actually have no Dark World. Oh, Cardamized Dark Worlds. Yeah, yeah, my, one of my viewers, subscribers, Joey, was saying something about that. Yeah, because that's totally not... F I swear to Christ. <laughs> I swear to Christ, Card Demise. I swear to Christ, Card of Fucking Demise. Disgusting. He just got a brand new fucking hand. Like, all right. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cardamized Dark Rolls. He's like, you can do Cardamized Dark Rolls. Yeah. And I make Cardamized ABCs. Like, yeah, because Cardamized totally shouldn't be hit. It's just Tay at three. So allow the fucking lower tier decks to fight the upper tier decks. Oh, wait. Cosmo Cardamized. ABC Cardamized. Like, lower tier decks. Like, no. Like, why should you get to draw three fucking cards? Why? 
Alright, so I guess he's just gonna sit here and fucking touch himself all the limbs on day. Maybe you maybe play Call of the Hunters. If I was in, if I was playing this deck, I'd probably play Call of the Hunter or Oasis or something along those lines. That way you could set it, and then when you pitch your whole entire hand, you'll at least have the Call of the Hunter or something to summon back your Dark Road, turn it to your hand and summon Grasset back the next turn. When you can't special summon this turn. Ah, oh, this is fun. Just watching this guy fucking touch himself over and over and over and over and over. I wouldn't be surprised if he has his fucking Exodia up in this bitch, like... Mm -hmm. Multiple Call of the Hunted and multiple Oasises. That way you can just go ahead and call the Hunted and Oasis three of the monsters, return them, summon all three graphics next turn. Wow, and one day? Yep. And of course, never really sure if Hunted draw, all, but, you know, why do you care? Are you playing Exodia? Like, shit. I, the second day I thought you were playing Exodia. Like... <laughs> So I guess he's just doing something sacky, like protecting the sanctuary and then activating that card, which makes it so like we shuffle our hands back or something along the lines. So you pitch everything. I have a feeling that this is about to be some sacky, dirty shit. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. So, so, uh, so, uh. Uh, GG, I guess? So, GG, I guess? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I'm not mad. I'm not salty. Just like, yeah, that's just GG. Awesome. Fun. Mm. Mm. Alright. Get another duel. Bear that. Alright, last duel. You know what the funny thing is? That guy was hosting and saying no noobs. It's like, oh, no noobs. That means it's you're not a noob, so we won't be, we'll have a good duel. No, no, but you're, you're just gonna do some sacky shit. Like, oh, got it, got it. Oh, got my condom. Like, these cards right here. Just summon Prisma Sun, bam. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I got to play this deck because everybody is saying, you know, ABCs were better, but I mean, I look how long it takes you to get ABCs. Not too long, though. Not too long. But look how it takes you a while. It takes you a while. Me, on the other hand, I just open up with a poly, fucking Prisma and shit. Like, I'm summoning, I'm fucking summoning it, you know? I bust out my boss monster with ease. And my, mon and my boss monster is a fucking solemn. Like, come on. I mean, that's my, my boss monster. I'm not a big fan of these kind of monsters, but, you know, we gotta get that hypocritical shit in Yu Gi Oh! When it's used against you, I'll fuck that shit. But when you use it, you're like, the power, you know? I was just talking about that. I was like, fucking, I was just thinking. I was, I was just about to say, like, Cheat Toad. Like, if I could actually click Cheat Toad on Daily Duels, I think I'd be like, the power. But, uh. You know, but if not, then I think that might be game. I think I might have gamed you, dude. Like. Yeah, you killed me, so I get to summon these two. That's game. <laughs> you have exactly six. <laughs> Don't strike, wee boy. <laughs> Damn. GG, <laughs> get wrecked. You thought, yeah, I'm gonna strike him. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a great way to end it right there. Damn. Damn, I feel much better for getting fucking sacked right at last. I thought he was playing fucking card to my dark roll. Nah, this man was fucking getting sacky with it. Like, he was just gonna fucking, oh my god, like, wow. <laughs> Cardamized Dark Worlds, people. It's a thing. <sighs> Alright, I'm done. So, like I said, tell me if my content's getting dry. If, you, if you're still enjoying the content, then, you know what, just, just to lift up my spirits, because I kind of feel like I'm gonna write, go ahead and tell me. Daniel, really appreciate you. Love the channel. Love the daily content. You are awesome. I'm glad I subscribed. In those words, those exact words, quote, all right? But if you're saying, you know, you spam me too much, you know, because, like I said, I, like I said, I talked to the Cali Effect, he says I upload too much. I talked to a lot of other YouTubers, they say I upload too much. You know, the Cali Effect actually started YouTubing after me. Like, I was, I, before he was big, I actually, you know, introduced him to YouTube and shouted him out. Then he just passed me up and, you know, look at where he's at, look at where I'm at. So, I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm doing too much, so, I don't know. I just really know that I'll probably, I'm going to keep everything going until at least November 2nd, and then we'll see where we're at, where we're at then. Uh, if Season 2 is going on, we'll probably keep everything the same until Season 2 is over, but then after Season 2 is over, we'll probably end up cutting a lot of shit. You know, I've got multiple guest uploads, multiple shoutouts, and my channel I'm just still sitting here, not even at 2,500. It's like, damn. Right? 
if I, if I had one sub for every video, I'd be doing more successful than <laughs> what I am now. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed stuff of Daily Duels. Of course, I will be back tomorrow uh, playing Predator Plants, I guess. Like I said, that deck is kind of... It has three monsters. I tried my best with it, but it's still just kind of a shitty-ass, slow-ass deck. Um... I said, uh, polls will be up tomorrow. My ban list prediction will be up tomorrow, so look forward to that. Let's see if you guys can guess any of the, the cards I'm gonna put. You could probably guess, like, I'd say you guys could probably guess, like, five. I'd say that. Because some of them are just so obvious, like, I, could, I guess I could spell it. Domain, to one. Pantheism, to one. Dante, to one. Sorcerer, to one. See, there, there, there was an easy four right there. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. Thanks for watching, thanks for support. See you guys tomorrow.